honestly, like. So, what if we forget about the law? What do we think about it ethically? And just morally, let's think about our values and our virtues, the common good, the things that we talked about. Still arguing for your side. <laughs> Five more minutes, and then you can argue whatever you want. Well, like going going to using the virtue approach, obviously, like a lot of people call using the virtue approach. People will think everyone uses the virtue approach. This probably won't be successful. Like, like, would you like give out like a blueprint of a gun to like be available to everyone, even children? Like that's that's a big sense, right? Like you could like give them like a firearm so like a baby and like the baby knows that they're probably not. Yeah. But, like like maybe even really young children already know about this. Like, what if they want to try out a gun, they think they're so cool and have all those like, action movies and stuff. You have to say so much try it out themselves. And, you know, like when you grow up in college, it's gonna screw your print out online. I don't necessarily think that every single person 
person in the U.S. has access to a 3D printer. And um, maybe the internet, because some net neutrality laws have like, been enforced in a couple of states, I think like Oregon, maybe Washington, I'm not sure. But, um, and just not everybody can afford a 3D printer, you know? So I don't think it's necessarily available to every single person. Um, um, I'd like to add on to the, the fact that you can, like, you guys can have access to a gun show. You can go to a gun show and buy a gun. That's certainly more dangerous than being able to get a 3D printer because 3D printers are more expensive. Jasmine, how much help on So, uh, you said like the 3D printer is more expensive, but like, it doesn't actually make sense to like what Andre just said. What did Andre just say? Uh, he said that, like, I, I actually forgot.
like, because it's, it's basically saying anybody can become the military. But see, that, that's no longer really necessary, because we already have a well-regulated militia. So why would, like, anybody need a gun? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. I don't know, but this, okay, so I don't agree with my side, because I just, why? Like, I just don't agree with that, but I think that, um, I agree with Josh, and I think that like there are already so many issues with gun rights, and so many people have access to them, and just with like being it, like making it even easier for anybody to just print out a gun just makes everything even worse. So now, really, anybody can just print a gun and just harm somebody and kill somebody. Or it makes it better, depending on which side of the argument you're on. Michelle. Um, my opinion, I think they are, they should be allowed and you have to get a license for it. Um, but I know it's really hard to even get like to uh, detect every to just uh, trace everyone who printed a gun and ask for just force them to get a license. I mean, it's okay for you to print a gun if you just want to practice hunting or stuff. Um, but it's not okay for you to print a gun and just kill people. Well, is it the printing the gun that's wrong, or is it the killing people that's wrong? It's the killing people that's wrong. So it's okay to print guns? Um, yeah, I guess. I think it's, I agree with Joshua, because I think it's actually really ridiculous to like have like a homemade gun, gun that like everyone, everyone can like, car like carry a gun in their bags. and. Like maybe like even you, Miss I, will like have a gun in your back and like we students we don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Yeah. <laughs> Miss I is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I completely agree with what Miss Jones said. I think it's not that bad to own a gun, but like the killing part is the bad part. Like printing a gun doesn't mean anything. Killing someone you won't suddenly print a gun and not use it. You must have like, a purpose in your Uh, you need, like, even if printing a gun itself doesn't mean anything, in order to kill someone, you need a weapon, and that means it's super easy to get a weapon. So if your plan in the beginning was to kill someone, now you can just do it, like, in three hours. Can't you just kill someone with, like, a knife? I don't think free 
freedom of speech be like, I think that's pushing it. Because like, yeah, it's his freedom of speech, but it's his freedom of speech to endanger the country. So I think it's like, that's a bit too much freedom of speech. What approach do you think you're using? Utilitarian, maybe. Maybe a little more. Or common good, yeah, common good. But I mean, you say the right approach. And like, actually, he has like the right to like, post it. Like, he can post whatever he wants. It's just like, if people down it or not. But like, it's like, I can post anything I want. Like, but like, because I have the, I have the right to post it. I also think he's allowed to um, like put it online. So I think there must like there should be more regulations or something. Um, like this person, he, like the maker, um, he's actually trying to make it as like safe as possible. Like he's adding the metal and like yeah. So I think if like almost um, like misuses it, it's not really his fault. Yeah. 